Right you guys, what is going on? And welcome back to the third update video of the day and uh, well we're actually in Central Christchurch, this is Battersea Street and we're at none other than Bodycore Gym which is actually on both sides of the road. Uh, Bodycore is my second gym uh, my second gym membership. This is the gym that I've been meeting my coach, my bodybuilding coach Steve Orton at once a week for the last 10 weeks. And what we do <coughs> is we come inside. The uh, the actual weight part of the, the weights part of the gym is on that side of the road. This side of the road is as you'll see the cardio area which is sick and the posing area. So this is the cardio room. It's pretty decent size. It's got everything you'd need. Loads of stuff. And heaps of space. But in here, as some of you may <laughs> recognize, this is the posing room. Man. So this is where Steve and I will meet. Um, he takes my body fat. I turn around here, put the camera there and start filming and him and I run through my posing. So basically the only reason I'm here guys is not actually to do some posing but I want to discuss my bodybuilding plans because at the end of the day we've got some. Where are you going? Come here. So once I get that sorted, are we good? Yes we are, okay. Welcome, welcome guys, welcome to Bodycore Gym. Um, I've become, yeah, quite well acquainted with this place over the last 10 weeks, as I said. I've been here every single Wednesday morning at 7.30, right in this very room. Every single Wednesday morning. There's been some mornings that I've woken up at 6 and thought, I cannot be fucked. But it's about consistency. It's about showing up even on the days you don't want to. But you know, if you start, if you start feeling that way, that the, the thing that sort of instantly gets your head back in the game is the fact that you are actually paying for this. You're paying for the service and um, you know, there's a reason why you pay for that. It's worth it. It is worth it. And it's, it's not, even, not only worth it for the, the physical, obviously Steve is, you know, he, he, he looks at my body physically and he, he, he knows what he sees and he's helping me get into shape. But mentally, having someone there that's done it all before has been hugely helpful to my mental state, my, my, um, my mindset, my mindset, you know. My mindset coming into this was, was all for fun. And... You know, I think Steve saw that as okay. Yep, he's taking it for fun. I don't know how 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 I don't know how this guy's going to get into shape, um, but I'm going to try and help him. And at the end of the day, he, you know, your coach can help you as much as you like, but you're the one that's going to have to put in that work. You're the one that's going to have to suffer those nights when you want to eat something. You, you're laying in bed pretty hungry, but you know, you know, you can't. And um, it's those times that having a coach in your corner, even if you don't talk to them, you know, just knowing that they are there, if you do need to talk to them, if you are in that bad of a spot where you're like, fuck man, I'm about to eat the house down, what do I do? I never got to that point, but I'm sure he would have helped me through it regardless. Now, guys, I have discussed with you earlier today, the bodybuilding show that I did, uh, it was three weeks ago now, it was here in Christchurch, it was called the South Island Championships, the NZIFBB South Island Champs. Now. My mindset going to that show was good. It was extremely good. Up until about three weeks out when I realized that, look, if I do want to, you know, I guess have a good showing, if I do want to, you know, try and do relatively well on this show and not just do it just for fun, I'm going to have to really step things up. And that's what happened. The last three weeks, my fatigue went way up. Um, I was laying in bed hungry at times, which is a terrible feeling. Uh, my sleep pattern was out of whack, you know, I was up at 2, 3 in the morning some mornings because I literally, I mean, you don't need much sleep when you're that lean. Or, or, I mean, that's what your body's telling you, right? So I'll go to bed and I'll wake up refreshed as if it's been an 8 hour sleep, but I've only been asleep for 2 or 3 hours. Now that's weird. 
But that's what comes with getting really, really lean, apparently. You know, I'm waking up in the morning after, a, if, if I eat carbs, the, the veins start coming up in my, my stomach. You know what I mean? I've, I, you can literally, it, once you get to a certain level of body fat, you can really start to understand and actually see visually what nutrition is doing to your body once you ingest it. You know what I mean? So if I'm in a lean enough state where I'm actually having veins up my stomach, and I'm realizing that those, those veins come out more so after I've eaten certain things, you know, all of that, that, that's knowledge that I'm guessing, you know, about my body now. Um, and it's, it's knowledge that you just don't have unless you're in a lean enough state. And so, anyways guys, it's been a journey, it's been a fucking long journey. It was 20 weeks from the start of my diet at about 96 or 97 kgs down to show day where I was weighing in at about 88 kilograms. So that's a 9 kg difference, but what I will say is that there have, there have, there's definitely been some, some muscle memory, there's definitely been a, a, a bit of a, a recomposition of sorts. What I found is that I got myself from 97 down to about 90 kgs, and that's the point that I met up with Steve. I was at 11% body fat, I'd done it all on my own, and I was pretty happy. Funnily enough, from that moment, over the next 10 weeks, I only lost you know, two and a half more kilograms. But my condition went from 11% down to under 5% body fat. Now that is all calculated on numbers. That's calculated on my body weight, as, as well as um, the skin fold, you know, skin body fat caliper tests that, that Steve does consistently every week. But what that tells me is that in that 10 weeks, I've lost the two and a half kg which has effectively been, you know, five and a half percent body fat on my frame. But what's actually happened as well is I've put on some muscle. I have. There's been some muscle memory there. So in that 10 weeks, you know, my body's done what they call a recomposition. And it's done it without me even really knowing, you know, how I've done it or why I've done it. You know, all I've tried to do is get lean, train hard, and see what my body does. And effectively what it's done, my body weight got down to about 87 and a half kgs at its lowest. It did not want to go under there. My body fat came down from probably about 20% down to about 11% 10 weeks ago and now it's down to just under 5%. And you know, I'm six foot one. So here we are, 88 kg, six foot one at 5% body fat and it's the best shape I've ever been in in my life. Um, I feel absolutely amazing, I feel active, I feel light on my feet, um, and I really feel like I, you know, if, you, if anyone out there sees me as an actual bodybuilder, I don't look like a bodybuilder, well I don't, I, I feel like I don't look like one, I feel like I look like a, a natural bodybuilder at best, but what I've tried to do guys is really just include all sorts of training in my prep. You know what I mean? I was, I was doing rugby trainings, I was going out doing sprint training, I was going out and doing you know, long distance running, all sorts of agility type of work with rugby. Then I, started, <laughs> then, I started, then I started studying at the NZIS. Started doing all sorts of shit there. All sorts of fitness testing, cardio workouts, weight based workouts, outdoor workouts. And you know, you include all of that into one and I was probably burning at least 5,000 calories a day. You know what I mean? Doing at least 20, 25,000 steps a day, four or 5,000 calories a day. You know, it's, it's, it's gonna be tough to put on weight when you're doing that much activity. And, and I guess that's where I find myself. You know what I mean? I'm still just as active. Um, since the show, I have actually upped my calories. I've upped my carbohydrates quite considerably whilst trying to maintain that 5% body fat condition because at the end of the day, I want to compete again. Right now, we're five weeks out. And this is what this video is about. Right now, we are five weeks out from the NZIFBB Natural National Championships. This is exactly one week after the NZIFBB National Championships. That is completely untested. A week after that, they have the exact same show, exact same format. It's just, it's drug tested. Now the exciting part, the most exciting part guys, is that in both the Nationals and the Natural Nationals, they offer 
pro cards. IFBB pro cards. Doesn't matter whether you competed in that one or that one, they're straight up IFBB pro cards. For the overall winner in men's physique, classic physique, and bodybuilding. The show that I'm aiming for is the NZIFBB Natural Nationals. I am a drug-free athlete, a lifetime drug-free athlete, and I'm proud of it. And I am so, so excited to have the opportunity to stand up on stage with a level playing field and to have an IFBB Pro card on offer. Wow. The thought of having a chance of winning an IFBB Pro card is just something I've never, ever, even fathomed. I literally never thought that. The only reason there's even a chance, the only reason I'm, I'm, I'm pushing through, I don't want to continue dieting right now, I want to fucking eat the house down, but I can't because I've got this goal. And if we can make this happen, guys, oh my God, this will be the cherry on the cake. The cherry on the, the icing on the cake? The cherry on top. I'm not sure. <laughs> this would be absolutely incredible, guys. If I could continue dieting, get in the best shape of my life, jump up on stage in both men's physique and classic physique, get into the overall by winning your class, and you're up there in the overall pose down, knowing that the winner receives an IFBB Pro card. Just think about that for a second. It's five weeks away. It's COVID. There's going to be fuck all competitors. This could be the best shot I will ever have. And we're going to push through and do it. Now, those are all the words that have come out of my brain without me looking at my paper. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up my little book here and talk about it. This video is about my plans. This video is about my plans for my next show. This video is titled, I'm going to try and earn my IFBB Pro Card in 2020. And this is how I'm going to do it. And basically, guys, I've just told you exactly how I'm going to do it. So for the next five weeks, I will be meeting with Steve. Um, I've actually already got two posing sessions on camera, one at six and a half weeks out and one at five and a half weeks out. So following this video, I will be chucking them up on the YouTube channel. As well as that, we've got four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, one and a half, and one week out posing videos that will be coming to the channel. So for anyone that's wondering what my condition's like, for anyone that wants to see if I can, if I can improve it, um, and for anyone that wants to continue following along because this journey is not completely over yet, please do. Um, I do want to say, I do want to say that, I, I, you know, for me to get my, my, my weight down, doesn't matter whether I've got this muscle memory happening or not, I need to get my weight down to 86 kilograms. 86. For me to do that, I am going to have to track everything through my fitness power and I will have to start manipulating my carbohydrates quite considerably because I know that I can maintain a weight with a certain amount of carbs in my diet, but for me to you know, get stuck into that body fat once again and start really trying to, trying to lose more body fat, I need to reduce those carbohydrates. It's just the way it is. Um, but it's been a real interesting journey, you know, because you know, this time dieting down, I haven't gone low carb, I haven't gone keto. I've continued to have carbs in my diet. In fact, right up until, sh right up until the last week of the show, I would say I, I definitely have at least 300 grams of carbs a day in my diet. But that is because, like I mentioned before, I've been so active, I've been able to burn it off. It's not like I'm sitting at a, a desk the whole day. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, uh, Shit, you're always learning, right? I'm, I'm, I'm still constantly learning. So I guess the only other thing I wanted to say, wanted to touch on was, was my cardio, what I'm going to be using for cardio over the next five weeks. Uh, rugby is out because I've, we're finished. Um, you would have seen a video about that on this channel. Rugby is done for the season. What an experience. Mint. Absolutely awesome. You guys saw that first video I, I made um, after my first game back. It was extremely emotional, and um, you know, the emotions are still there. It's we made the final, uh, we lost 
just at the last second. And yeah, next year, next year. So yeah, rugby's gone. Sorry, went off on a tangent there. Rugby, as far as a form of cardio, is gone. I will be still doing my walks in the morning. I will be still doing my runs on the weekends. And I will still be studying at the NZIS. So we've still got the cardio-based workouts. We've still got the weight-based workouts. And I'll still be training with weights at least five, six times a week. So that's the plan. I want to say thank you so much for being here. I want to say I will be doing my very best to bring workout videos, workout vlogs to the channel with Steve in the lead up to the show. I've never trained with Steve before, so that could be good, could be interesting, it would definitely be interesting. Not sure if, not sure if it'd be fun, um, but I'll give it my best shot. And I think that could be some real cool content coming out to this channel. Jacob McDonald and Steve Orton training in the gym. Coach and athlete. Athlete and coach. <laughs> Anyways guys, have a fantastic day. We're here at Bodycore. Anyone in Christchurch that wants to come and check it out, it's $10 a casual session. But the best thing is, is it's $10 a week as well. So if you want to join up, it's $10 a week. If you want to come down for a casual session, it's 10 bucks. If you want to come and train with me, let me know, hit me up on Instagram, I'll meet you right here, and we'll go and smash a session. I'm all about that. I'm all about collaborating, I'm all about meeting up with as many people as possible, networking, it's what life's about. Peace out guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Let's go get this pro card. Imagine that. Can you imagine? <sighs> Stuff dreams are made of. I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. Morning. yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, like foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Vroom, vroom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta say this thing.